I think uh, I think everyone's aware that you know I've raised this issue previously relative to um, the uh, uh, requirements of the charter for when the budget is uh, developed and also uh, when the board the process for the board of aldermen and the timelines uh, for that. So, you know, I, I understand um, that most of my colleagues do not share my uh, concern about this. Um, suffice it to say that for myself, um, you know, I, I can't, I don't like being in a position where uh, I take an oath of office to support the charter and ordinances in December and and end up uh, violating it several months um, uh, later. Uh, however, be that as it as it may, that that's a personal issue for me. Apparently, I'm confident that Kurt's going to present that again this year, and, and and we'll be doing the same. But in terms of the the charter issue that um, Steve has brought up, I you know I think it's important to know that I think everyone shares the same sort of um, hearing this every single year um, for the last two years about um, not necessarily meeting the timeline, and I think the intentions were there to get a budget out as early as possible, having been on that charter revision um, committee at the time that this was passed, was trying to get as much information out as possible, early as possible. But the reality is, is that with the state budgets and the reliance on state money and things like that, it just makes it incredibly difficult. And as Kurt mentioned with vendors, um, not getting prices out there until much later on in the process, I think it's worth noting that you know i've had conversations with um sheila in particular and i know the mayor's in support of it of reopening and having a charter revision committee reestablished for the purposes of updating this um so this conversation can stop happening every year so i know i and i know other members share the same concern so you know to the extent that steve that you know what i mean i hear what you're saying um about you know what i mean taking the oath and, and recognizing what's in the charter the intentions were there it's just it's not a practical and pragmatic thing to be able to do under the current circumstances and a through I, I don't see it as through any fault of anybody at the city level it's just the numbers are not there to be able to do that and rather than putting out projected budgets and then having to adjust later on the fly i think what kurt is suggesting is doing it in a much more pragmatic way um one time so we don't have to change everything after the fact so i'm fully in support of a charter revision committee to reopen this and deal with this issue and get it back into the proper timeline to match what you know when we're getting our numbers so that our budget process um can be as you know transparent as possible and and, and joe i i would agree that charter revision is the uh, is the antidote to this uh this problem i would i would hate to be in violation of the of the charter but you know i don't think there's i think this is a the, that the charter is really at this point with what we're dealing with is a suggestion to do it a certain way and i don't think there are any uh, you know charter charter police that are going to arrest us for being in violation of it if there's a if there's a a, a concerted effort to try and get this i don't know to get it done the way Steve wants to do it, then maybe we should, Steve, why don't you run the ball on this and just, you know, find out how to do it. 